The location for this shoot was going to be critical um, for a few reasons. First and foremost, we were going to have a bride and a groom hanging on the side of a cliff. So we had to have a location that was safe and accessible, but not something necessarily that we had to hike into a long ways in order to do the shoot. To prep this site, um, I went up uh, ahead of the models and some of the other crew along with some other climbers. We knew at some point during the shoot we'd have as many as six people hanging off this cliff face. So we had to put in anchors in the cracks and in different places in the rock. We used some trees. Uh, in the end, we wound up having six ropes that would go over the face. So at any one point, someone on the crew, whether it was me as photographer or a video person or the bride and groom could repel or be lowered down the cliff so that we had this working site, but it was all on a vertical face. For any kind of shoot in the mountains, um, you're always considering the weight factor. The ELB 400s were the perfect choice for this shoot. They're lightweight, barely over four pounds, they're very portable, and they have tons of power. In my mind, there's three things about these packs that really make them just a great option for so many photographers. Portability, power, and performance. The lithium batteries on these packs are incredible. It just continues to pop flash after flash after flash. Um, you can get hundreds of full power pops, which we actually needed on this shoot when we were dealing with the midday sun, but the battery performance on these packs are great and the batteries are also very lightweight, so it's easy to throw a couple extra ones in the pack so you can always have a second battery if you need it. The Ellen Chrome Skyport is a critical piece of equipment for me shooting adventure sports. It allows me to control the lights in very difficult places to get to. We may have a light hanging on the side of a cliff that no one is near, so being able to adjust the output right at the camera is a huge benefit for me and the photography I do. The beauty of the Ellen Chrome lighting system, in addition to the, the packs, is they have probably the industry leading range of light modifiers. This became very important for us because originally we just we wanted to use a larger octabox but because the wind was so strong we wound up going to a smaller box and we had that available to us to use with these packs. A huge highlight of the shoot today for me was watching the bride put on the dress for the first time. We'd been planning the shoot for weeks and we visualized it, we tried to anticipate everything that could go wrong, go right, how it would look. But when you actually see this bride putting on this beautiful gown and you're in this spectacular location, it's just everything crystallized at that moment. It's like, here it is, this is gonna look amazing. Now we, we all the pieces are in play, we just need to create the shot. The lighting setup that we did on the cliffside wedding was a cross lighting scenario. We used a small octabox as our main light and a standard reflector on a head as our accent light from below. The number one rule with all this is you have to be passionate about it. Um, I've, I've been climbing for 30 years. I absolutely love it. I think that's how you produce your best work is if you, if you want to be an extreme sports photographer, then you have to, you have to believe it, live it, and, and just think about it. That'll get you the images you want.